Okay, so our today's topic is static routing. In our last video, we have seen the theoretical part, like what is static routing, what is dynamic routing, and actually what is the routing. But today we are going to discuss about static routing. And static routing is the process of finding path from this source to that destination manually. Like for example, if uh, I'm coming from, for example, from hundred of kilometers, then that is my source, this is my destination. I'm coming on my own vehicle. I'm finding the path by myself and I'm driving. So all the things you have to enter manually in static routing. Static routing can be done with two types, like two, two way to implement two ways. The first way of implementing static routing is with the next hope IP address. And the second way to implement static routing is exit interface. Okay, so the syntax, Syntax for next hope is IP root. After that, you have to write here indirect network ID. Indirect network ID is like a destination. Indirect network ID is destination. Okay. Like indirect network ID is a destination. Like, so I will write it. destination prefix okay after indirect network id you have to write here subnet mask like what is your subnet mask okay in my next last session i was asking you by like what is direct network what is indirect network that is the topic and after subnet mask you have to write next home ip address IP root, indirect network ID, subnet mask, next hope IP address. This is the syntax. Similarly, with this syntax, we have another syntax that is instead of next of IP address, we can use exit interface. So you have to learn these two things like static routing can be implemented with two ways, two tips, but this is totally a practical topic. Okay. So what I have to do, first of all, I have to make one design. Okay. I have to check if I have one already made design here. Okay. So I'm going to open this on Cisco packet tracer. Just wait. So it will be open. Otherwise I can make design there. So I need one design like in which we have like two router, two switches or three router, three switches will be there. So today I'm going to implement first next hope IP address topic. So to understand that concept, we need to understand what is direct, what is indirect, what is subnet mask? What is next hope IP address? Yes, I'm going to let you know. I'm going to share the screen with you. So this is my design. You can check the design. So I'm using my software Cisco Packet Tracer. So this is my Cisco Packet Tracer 8. So this is the design that we have made in our last video like 10, 0, 0, 4, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Okay. So I'm going to open the notepad. First of all, we need to check what are the direct network of R1 and what are the indirect network of R1, router number one. So the, like you can say, the network IDs that are directly connected to my router, that is our direct network ID. Okay, like if you want to check, now here I have written 10 and 40, but sometimes there is not written. 
So what do you have to do? You have to check on router. If you are uh, making from very scratch, like if you are making topology from starting, then you do, don't have to worry because you have given the network. But if, if the already been network is there, just wait, uh, I'm going to change the font size here. Font. Okay, so this is done. So this is my router. You want to check the direct network, you just have to put one command. That command name is show IP root. Enter it. So any network that is showing with C connected, that is your directly connected network. Any network that is showing with C. So 10 and 40 are the direct network of router one and 50, 30 and 20 are the indirect network. Understand the concept. So router one is connected with 10 and 40. Okay. So R1, yes, R1 is 10 and 40 are the direct network. And after that, 20, 30 and 50 are the indirect network of router number one. So router number two will be there. Direct network and indirect network. Okay, so okay, so Dario, what are the direct network of router number two? Direct. Yeah. Well, sir, first explain again this part. Uh, this, this one? one? This one. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Not, 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 Arsh, what is 20, 40 and 50, right? Hello, it is saying? Yes. So router two's direct networks are 20, 40 and 50. So I have to write, I'm just writing it for you because I'm uh, recording the session. Uh, 20, 40 and 50 are the direct network. So the remaining network 10 and 30 that are known as indirect. Okay, so let's move on to R3. If you don't understand, then you can use this command I told you. Show IP root. 20, 40, and 50 are my direct network. So what are the direct network for router number three? 30 and 50. Okay, we can check on show IP root. Okay, 30 and 50. So 30, 50 are my direct network. And uh, 10, 20 and 40. These are my indirect network. So what we have studied in, in our static routing, we have studied like, okay, let's come on back to the white board. We have to put the syntax IP root. After that, we have to put indirect network ID. Understand the concept? Mm -hmm. I am doing the practical of next hope first. Because only change is you can do static routing with two ways. Either you can use next hope function or you can use exit interface function. So if R1 has, if R1 has three indirect networks, 20, 30, and 50. So on router number one, you have to put three commands, 20, 30, and 50. Okay, I'm going to share again this one. If router one has 10 and 40 is direct network, so I have to use 20, 30, and 50. Like I have to use command IP root. The first indirect network ID is 20,000. What is the subnet mask of 20,000? 255, 255, 255, 248. Okay. 
Similarly, we have to put the command IP root for 30. 30, 0, 0, 0, 245, 245, 248. Similarly, we have to put the command IP root for 50. But the subnet mask of 50 is 252. 252, wait, just wait. So this is my uh, like syntax IP root, indirect network ID, subnet mask. Now the next part is, uh, what is my next hope IP address? Now we have to write next hope IP address. So if we check on our design, if we check on our design, this is router one. For example, router one is like uh, Ashdeep's router. So even, wait, I'm going to share the screen. Router number one, router number one wants to go to 20, 50 and 30. So next hope is the IP address of the next router. What is next hope? IP address of the next router. Because for example, there is, for example, Dario is there. Dario wanna go from this route to this, this and this. So Dario's home is there. So the next hope for Dario is always 40.002. Because this is Dario's home. Every time, if Dario wanna go to a company, if Dario wanna go to Elante Mall, if Dario wanna go to Delhi, okay. If Dario wanna go to everyone. Dario has only one path. So Dario's next hop is 4002. So simply, if he wanna go to 20, 30, and 50, every time its next hop is 4002. Like this. Understand? Now, if we are now router one task is done. Router one task is done. Okay. This one, wait, wait, wait. One ask question. So my, my Darius task is complete because he has completed router one's task. Now, this is the room of Arsh, home, Arsh home. Okay. Now Arsh has three director network, 20, 40, and 50. What are your indirect network, Arsh? 10 and 30. Like for at R2, we have to put IP root for N000. We have to put IP root for 30000. And first, we have to write the subnet mask that, that you have used. Use any. If you want to use 248, use 248. If you want to use 242, it's up to you. Okay. Now, when dare you want to go to 30? And Dario's next hope was 4002 for 30 also. But now Arsh want to go to 30. Arsh wanna go to 30. What will be the next hope for Arsh? Arsh, Arsh wanna go to 30. Uh, 50002. 50, yes. So Arsh wanna go to 30. Next hope is 5002. Arsh wanna go to 10. What is my next hope? Uh, 40001. Understand? So every time, like for example, there are another network there. Every time you want to go from this side, then that is, oh, you want to ask? Okay, wait. Let's move on to R3. Like Gagan want to ask, like this is Gagan's home. Okay, G A G M. Okay. Gagan has two direct network, 30 and 50. It's Gagan's room. Okay. Gagan wanna go to 10. What is the next hop for Gagan? 50.001. Next hop. I am asking what is your next hop? What is yours next hop? So you have to write. First of all, you have to write like this. Wait, uh, I'm just copying this. And like 10, 20, and 40. These are the indirect networks.
what are the next stop for gagan is 5001 every time 5001 5001 5001 now all the configuration is done and now maybe you all are thinking like uh, if you are on r3 and you want to go to 10004 maybe your next stop is 4001 maybe you are thinking okay you, next stop is your first stop okay now for example if this third person want to go to 10 first of all in its routing table it will show that you have to go by this path when when gagan will reach there for example gagan will reach there like gagan want to go to 10 because the routing table shows for going to 10 go for 5001 when gagan reach there it will check again i want to go to 10004 then on router number 2 automatically there is a new bus is saying go for 4001 after that you can go so this is your static route understand the concept we have to uh, like implement that topic So click on router. Now you have to use the commands like do show IP root. If you are using ten and forty are the direct network. Now we have discussed all the things. This now you have to put this thing on this IP root twenty zero 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 space two five five two five five two five five two forty eight forty zero zero two IP root. Thirty zero 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 two five five two five five two five five two forty eight forty zero zero two. After that, IP root fifty zero zero zero. Now I have given two fifty two there. Forty zero zero two. So if you want to save this design, do right. If you don't want to save, it's up to you. Okay. Now moving on to the next router. So IP root. just practice start starting practices on basic commands and after that then so we have 2014 50 direct network after that we have to go from this router to 10 when you are going to 10 your next stop is 4001 and when you are going to 30 then 5002 this one and when you are going to last router then you have to go with like ip root 10000 to 5545545548 5001 is your next hop because you have only one way and you want to go to 20 again ip root you want to go to 40 you have defined all the routes in your routing table and now you can check do show ip route now you have done with static routing c stands for connected networks but s stands for static network s stands for static network means you have done static routing okay so if you want to check that pinging is done This is ten zero zero one. This is twenty zero zero one. So you can just click on this and command prompt p i n g ping twenty zero zero one. Now every time when you start pinging, first packet will fail due to broadcasting in MAC. Okay, first time all the packet will fail due to IP to MAC address resolving. By default, ARP protocol is is used here. like you are pinging from here to there first packet is failed you can ping like this again when you going to ping with this this packet will successful so this is called static routing with next hop ip address thank you so much